What is up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Owen Collects. What is Owen Collect today? Owen Collects Harry Potter, yes, Harry Potter signed Funko Pops. So let's take a look at all five of them. It's Spelliamas. Welcome back guys, and if you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it down below. It's about my Doctor Who sign Funko Pops, so you might want to go and watch it. Today we're showing all five, yes, all five of my signed Harry Potter Funko Pops. So let's take a look at them. First off, we'll start with my Seamus Finnegan, signed by Devin Murray at the Film and Comic Con in Glasgow in Brayhead Arena. Let's go and take a look at them. First up. We have my Seamus Finnegan, which is signed by Devin Murray himself. This is a Books A Million exclusive, which is a store in America. I got this one signed at Film and Comic Con in Glasgow and Brayhead. This was my actual, my first pop that I ever got signed. I didn't really know at the time that you had to fold the boxes to get the best autographs. So I just gave him to it like it, like it was. And he kind of was being really careful with it. So it's not the best signature, but it's still really cool. Autograph done by Seamus Finnegan himself, Devin Murray. Next up is my only one signed from Wales Comic Con in this part of my collection. Last time I had quite a few. This is my Matthew Lewis signed by Neville Longbottom. Uh, let's go and take a look at them. This is my actual one and only Funko Pop that I got signed at Wales Comic Con in my Harry Potter collection. I got it signed by Matthew Lewis who plays Neville Longbottom in Harry Potter. He was my last autograph, I think, of the whole weekend itself. I waited in the queue for quite a while because I, I was actually there when he was on his lunch break. So, because it was my last one, I thought, I may as well just wait and see how long it's going to take me. My sister was actually waiting outside. We'd booked a table in the restaurant. She, she was waiting there. And I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. But he was on his lunch break, so I had no idea when I was going to turn up. But it's really cool. It says... To own, uh, what well, it says for own all the best, Matthew Lewis. With a little, I think it's a kiss at the bottom, but it looks like a bird. So I'm gonna go for a bird. And the last time I had quite a few David Radleys, this is my last one of my collection. It's my Filch sign Funko Pop. Let's take a look at Mr. Filch himself. This is my third David Bradley autograph in my Funko Pop collection. It's my only one, my Harry Potter, of course. This is my Filch and Mrs Norris. It's a New York convention exclusive, which is a fall convention exclusive. Uh, it says to own Best Roses David Bradley. It was really, like I said in the last video, if you didn't see it, it was really nice meeting him because when me and my girlfriend walked in, we just walked into line by accident and we're like, oh, we're here, we may as well get David Bradley's autograph. So we just stood there, waited a bit. He was really lovely to meet, he signed everything, he was really chatty, he was really talkative and thank goodness we waited in that line because if we hadn't, that was the busiest line of the day, so if we hadn't, there would have been a chance that I wouldn't have got it because I didn't get it in Wales because it was so busy, so thank goodness I got it at Capital Comic Con in Edinburgh. And next up is my Jenny Weasley, yes my Jenny Weasley signed Funko Pop. It's signed by Bonnie Wright herself, let's go and take a look at it. And my second to last autograph in my Harry Potter autograph collection is my Ginny Weasley signed by Bonnie Wright herself. This one I actually got off a Facebook group, which is the American autograph collection Facebook group. I have a My USA account. Uh, I might make a video on it one day when I get a box through. It's really easy. I just buy off the website that I want to buy off. In this case, the Facebook group. I get it shipped to my American address and then I get it shipped to my house. And it's really cool, really simple and it's actually quite cheap as well. It's also JSA authenticated as well, which is really good because that means it's actually a real autograph and it's really hard that signed it. I would never have bought it if it wasn't JSA authenticated because I looked it up before and I looked at it, it was actually her. And the autograph matches and it's just brilliant. And it's probably my favourite in this whole collection. And last but not least is my Pierre de Resistance of my Harry Potter and Saint Funko Pop collection. It's my Harry Potter himself, which was signed at Stage Door by Daniel Radcliffe himself. Let's take a look at Harry much closer up. 
And my last autograph in my Harry Potter autograph collection is my signed Harry Potter signed by Daniel Radcliffe himself. This was bought from another Facebook group called Ink2 Collectibles. I'll put a link to their Facebook group below. I bought it off of one of the admin that runs the group. His name is Billy and he went to go and see Daniel Radcliffe's show, uh, Endgame, which was put on at the Old Vic Theatre in London. So he basically waited at the show. At the show he went in with all the stuff he had to get signed and this was one of the things he got signed. As you can see here, there's an authentica authentication of Ink 2 Grails. Uh, it says Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter, 42, Funko Pop. Uh, there's their Facebook ad, but I'll put it down below. I think it's really cool, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out, because it's probably one of Daniel Radcliffe's better autographs, so I think it's amazing. Like I said, it's the Pierre de Resistance. So guys, that was all my signed pops from my Harry Potter signed Funko Pop collection. I think next time we might look at my signed Lord of the Rings and my signed Stranger Things Funko Pop collection because they're quite small so we can push that into one video. So yeah guys, that was my Harry Potter signed Funko Pop collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, please subscribe and please leave a comment down below and which one was your favourite because I think even though the Harry's, the period, the resistance of my Funko Pop collection I actually prefer my Ginny Weasley because I think it's really cool don't forget to press that bell to see when I next upload because you know these videos are coming out fast and quick but for this time I'll see you soon bye bye